So here's a quick lesson on how to set up the uh, dolly with the uh, tripod. Unfortunately, the newer tripods that we have, the black ones, don't work too well with the dolly. Uh, this is the dolly here, which is really just a set of wheels. Okay, so three wheels, uh, one that could go under each leg, and it just allows us to roll it around. So the dolly right now is collapsed. All right, uh, to open it up, we just pull the legs apart, and you can push down on it lightly, and we'll feel it lock into position. Okay. So that's the dolly, okay? The dolly doesn't have too many other moving parts to it really, except that there is a brake here, okay? So to uh, disengage the brake or turn it off, you press down. And now you'll see that the dolly moves freely on the wheels, okay? That's how we can roll it around. When you're ready to keep it in one position, pull the lock up, okay? And that will lock the dolly so now the wheels uh, won't move around. Uh, from a safety point of view, be careful with the dolly, okay? If you leave the brake off, okay, this is now a tripping hazard, okay? If somebody walks over here and steps on it, they could fall. Okay? It's also not a skateboard, so please don't let me see you riding the dolly down the hallways, okay? I've seen it in the past. Uh, dollies can break fairly easily. Don't stand on here and put a lot of weight. Okay, to put the tripod on the dolly, I would first turn the brake on. Okay, so that the dolly is not a moving target and we can get at it easy. These little rubber rings, the feet of the tripod are going to pass through this rubber ring and then they're going to bite into this gray bracket down here. So I'm just going to open up the little brackets, put the rubber rings across like this. Okay. And this heavyweight silver tripod is the one we want to use for the, uh, for the dolly. Okay. And I'm going to let the feet down. You'll pretty much want the legs all the way down for this, and unfortunately, this tripod doesn't drop down too low, so you're kind of limited to about a normal angle shot for the dolly in the dark. So one foot goes through. You may need to collapse the feet of the tripod a little bit, and so we're going to be putting each foot through one of these corners. Okay? And you may even want to come in for a close-up shot here. This is really important. So the foot goes through this rubber ring, and then it bites down into that gray clamp. You see that? So it bites onto that. Okay. Same through here. So it goes through the rubber ring and down into the dolly. And again on the third leg, through the rubber ring and down onto that gray bracket. Okay. If we've set that up right, we could pretty much lift up the entire tripod and the dolly is now secure. It's sort of part of it. So how do we use it now? Now I can turn the brake off and I can wheel it around, okay? And you want to have the, the handle of the tripod in your hand. You, this is fully adjustable as well. So if I want to angle this back a bit. Okay. I usually like to have the brake straight in front of me so that if I want to engage it or disengage it, I can do that. Okay, and I want to have the handle of the tripod here. To do the smoothest dollying possible, and remember, dollying is when you're sort of moving toward the camera or further away. Okay? So if I'm going to dolly in with the shot, really the only thing you want to watch for is the direction of the wheels. So right now you'll notice that I've got uh, one wheel pointing off that way, one wheel pointing off this way, and another one going this way. And as soon as I roll the dolly forward, it just did a little jog sideways until all the wheels were lined up together. It's kind of like a shopping cart when you're getting groceries. So before you move the dolly, or before you record rather, put the dolly, move it forward slightly in the direction you're going to go and get all of the wheels pointed in the same direction. So now I've got all the wheels pretty much pointed backward. Okay? I would set the camera up on the tripod, hit the record button to start recording, and now when I roll it forward, Still didn't catch it. You see there how it did that little wobble? Okay, so I would start again from here. Hit record button, roll forward, okay, and then stop. So that's dollying in or dollying out. I don't expect you to dolly in on the shot and then dolly back out on the shot. Just do either dolly in or you may want to start in and come back out. That's all you need to do and then stop. So that's one shot. Arcing. Arcing is when you're moving around a subject. So if I had the camera here, I'd be videotaping and I'm moving around the subject. Sometimes you'll see that shot at the end of a romantic movie where the, you know, the um, couple
couple get together and they have their big embrace and kiss, and then you see the camera kind of swiveling all the way around them. Okay, that, that would be a full 360 degree arc. We don't have to go all the way around, but part way. So you would set the camera up on the uh, dolly, and let's pretend uh, this chair was going to be my subject. I would then be rolling the camera around the subject. Okay, so I'm rolling, rolling it around in this arc fashion. To get it as smooth as possible, I have seen students try this, and it does seem to work fairly well. They had one student hold one of the wheels, so just steady the wheel here. And then you can pretty much let, once you get them going in the right way, let the rest of the wheels just roll into position. See that? So I'm just steadying from one wheel here. And now the camera is, is kind of moving in an arcing fashion. So if I had the camera pointed at me, I'd be getting a perfect low angle shot coming all the way around. Like that. And again, you don't have to arc in one direction and then come back the other way. Just in one direction is fine. Any...